So today I'll start with some of the terms which are actually related to the web services directly. Okay, as I just give the introduction about the SOAP and REST, the full forms, uh, nothing we go in as much detail, right? So today I'll start, today I'll work on some of the details of SOAP and REST, then how SOAP works, how REST works, not in as much detail because only you will understand if we'll directly work on our tool. So UI tool, right? So today I'll just show you how it looks, how it works. But the complete description, complete working, you will understand on day five or after day five. Okay. Okay. So let's start with the soap and rest. The very simple thing as soap and rest. I hope you all know now what is SOAP. SOAP is a protocol, REST is an architecture, protocols means the set of rules, right? These are terms I did show you why we did need just to make the connection secure, right? So full form is representational state transfer. And uh, SOAP is for Simple Object Access Protocol. Okay. Right. So the next thing is about the how it works, how it looks when I say I'm working on SOAP, how I can say I'm working on SOAP and how I can say I'm working on REST. And one more thing I did show you yesterday about the XML and JSON. Right, we did understand how what is XML? It's extensible markup language, and JSON is JavaScript object notation, and these both are used for communication. Not only for communication, for systematic communication. So that both the parties could understand what they are actually trying to communicate. Right. So now let's see. These are the languages. These are the rules or architecture. How they works. SOAP is something which I am going to use with XML. REST is something which I am going to use with both XML as well as JSON. Okay, so this is the main thing. When I am working on XML, it could be REST or it could be SOAP. But when I am working on JSON only, then it will be only REST. But mainly, we did use its very famous as rest with JSON. Okay, so this is separately even a kind of testing, rest with JSON testing. So very very important rest with JSON and SOAP with XML is not as much used. Okay, so firstly I will discuss about SOAP with XML, then I will move on to rest with JSON only. Rest with JSON. Okay, this pair we are, uh, we will actually work on this. Okay. So if I am saying SOAP is going to work with XML, then surely if I am saying this is XML and we all are here for the web services, web services testing, then one thing is sure is request and the response will surely be there. Right. And rest, it's if I am saying request and response, these are concerned with XML only. Right, we don't know about the SOAP if we do have such request and response. But if I'm saying I'm working with XML, request and response will surely be there. And what is the meaning of request? Request is something which the browser will send, and the response is something which the which the server, the third party location, will send me back. So if I say it's my browser, it's my server. I say this is the browser as an end user and this is the server and if they want to communicate then browser will send nothing but send the request this is actually the scenario right and if if it is sending request browser is sending request mm -hmm then server is going to send back the response response means it, it may be the it may be the 
when you the answer but only the thing is it it will be directly related to my request only okay you can't say response is something else it will only be satisfied answer for your that request right and we did we did cover the make my trip.com site how it works it is related to that okay we all i think we are that it's if i'm saying it is xml but where is so where is so now let's see where the soap or rest is present these are be in between the browser and server here it is so here it is rest but then what if i'm saying it is present over here how they are helpful in performing this task so if i'm saying i'm sending the request it will not be sent directly from here it will be sent first to transfer to this then it will decide then it will decide if it is secure secure means what then it will test it right the request part will be tested from here this is what this is my request and what i am getting back i am getting back the response then again it is here and here and what is this now this is my response understood so here we are not concerned right now i did show you where the soap and rest is present but again i am not saying how that how the one will decide if it is soap if it is rest we'll cover this topic after 10 to 15 minutes uh, i'll come on to this okay till now just yesterday we left over here request is getting transferred and response i'm getting back but now i did show you where the soap and rest is present and how it is transferred okay so this is about the xml now let's see how soap and xml both works okay and if i'm saying soap with xml it means soap with xml soap request directly you can say soap request and soap response right so both should be there if i'm saying i'm working on the web services request and response will be there and if i'm saying the uh, if i'm saying with xml xml request and the form format xml is nothing but a format only right so this is all about the soap soap with xml but how it looks i did tell you soap request soap response so how i can say if it is request if it is response one more thing within the request only i do have and it is nothing but a complete soap envelope so let's see what is soap envelope the complete thing is nothing but a soap envelope and the what is present within the soap envelope again soap envelope contains two things this and this when you will uh, when you will open your soap ui and uh, uh, when as i said when i show you how it looks then it will be a uh, better for you then the second part is uh, the first part of soap envelope is soap header and uh, the second part is soap body okay so this is the complete thing which is actually present within your soap envelope header and body now what is what is present within the header what is present within the body anyone what do you think what will be present as i'm saying it is going to work with xml tags some tags as here soap works with xml only i can't say a key value here or json object json array these are separate things. if i'm saying soap then only rest then only xml and if i'm saying xml then only tags okay so the tags are specific tags which are present within the headers which are present within the body okay so we are here for the soap envelope now right so it will be like so envelope starts if i'm saying it is xml then like this and after that so header uh, so 
better tax starts so better tax close and then it's soap body so body i'm not i'm not concerned right now with the tag names i'm just showing you the rough description how it looks and here so here tags some tags here again some tags okay so this is the complete look of your soap request and response okay so how i can see how i can say its request or its response be only on the basis of some tags which are present in between header and in between your body of your soap request or response okay you will understand when we will work on this okay so this is all about the soap how it works and this is the messaging protocol a complete description i did give you yesterday but today uh, just the working how it works as its protocol rules i think you all know okay now the next thing is rest rest with xml as i said it's not useful and uh, even even uh, we don't we are not going to use it we'll just work on rest with json okay so now let's see how rest looks with json so what do you think what i'll write here surely json object a key value pair so there so the json so there's i can't get you yes no there is no soap with json you can't see such kind of request okay it's a key and value here and if you have some more key value pair it will be key one and the value one to many value right so it will look like this but here you see no such kind of head uh, no such kind of headache of header or body directly you will write your keys and values and directly you will get the so can you please tell me is there uh, like i do have the request or response in case of rest with json what do you think am i going to see such request response it's rest with json just give me answer in yes or no the same thing with the response yes right we will if i am saying i am working on web services i am going to test it surely request and response will be there only the only the protocol the language is going to change right so this is all about rest and json rest with json and the soap with excel okay now let's see one very simple example of your request based on soap and the request based on the request based on the json or the rest means okay so this is the one of my soap request or request or response we will discuss on this after two days but today is just to show see it is soap and vanna and so header i don't have in this it's so body and so body so when the lock closes is this clear so this is one of my soap request don't go in as much detail from where it comes from where it comes okay just to show so anyone what do you think where is my key and where is my value as within tags only we did store if you remember i just show you the value like this what is xml version okay doesn't matter okay as we are going to use soap you are which will take headache of all these things the version of xml the version of soap we are just concerned with the some data and that data is nothing but this data okay and even not this data but only the data over here as if you remember i did tell you the value is here and with a start tag and the end tags these are the tags tags parent tag parent tag understood this is the value with which i am actually concerned which is over here oh it is 
so this is this is the complete thing with which i am concerned and the value is the required value. so this is one of my xml with so understood or not with which i am i'm actually working i'm just working on this we will just teach this value if say instead of a b uh, one two three let's say if it is a b c then i'll just change the value over here in between tab because i am concerned with this only and if i just want to write the same thing in the format of rest with json which value i will write the only key is user id right the user id is only the key with which we will work okay so this is the reason this is the reason actually uh, that i'm said uh, i'm saying that we'll cover the complete thing after four days of our uh, training then you will be more concerned with the complete request so here the user id is only the key and abc is the value so the same thing if i want to write with rest with json it will it will look like this understood so don't go in as much detail about the version about the parent tags okay so the thing which is required is here only and we are not at all concerned with these tags with these uh, start tags and the values which are over here we just concerned we are just concerned with the this one the complete thing is this tag and this is the value okay uh, done so this is all about the rest and the json xml with so these three topics are covered and in more detail you will understand when we will work on our tool Okay, so the next thing is WSDL, WADL. Many times you you heard about this. I think I didn't get the assignment. So I think we'll discuss about this after the class. Okay, just wait for um, nine o'clock. Okay, so it's WSDL and WADL. What is WSDL? Let's see. So if I am working on the web services, I don't need to know some jargons and these jargons. are nothing but the xml json so rest two more jargons wsdl wad so these okay some more one more i'll write urls which are concerned with wad only okay so right now i'll cover these two WSDL and WADL, where these are present, and how I am going to use, how it is related. I hope these four are clear. So now let's see WSDL, WADL, and URLs. Let's say one thing. As I explained, browser, server, and the request. the response just a minute it's safe it is browser this is the server request and the response tomorrow we covered this uh, sorry uh, yesterday we did cover this thing and today i introduce soap and rest over here soap uh, soap and rest but now the thing is where wsdl and wadl comes where it will be placed it will be placed over here on the basis of wsdl and wadl only i'll connect with one of the soap or or the rest okay so this is the very very important thing and we are going to uh, work with these three only if i'm working with if i'm working with soap If I'm working with soap, it's WSDL. Okay, let me explain. Then I'll come back to that. If I'm working with WS, WADL, WSDL means Web Services, Web Services Description Language. and what is the meaning of wadl it is for a web application description language okay 
so let's see how these are concerned with soap and rest i hope now it's clear wsdl and wdl are concerned with my soap and rest only right on the basis of these two only i'm going to decide if it is soap if it is rest okay and if i'm say if i said if it is the if it is wsdl if i am passing let's come to the same time okay if i'm saying if i'm saying If I'm saying I am going to pass one more thing, if you remember, I just show you request comes over here. This is the scenario, right? This is the complete thing, and here I will send back the response. This is my request, and this is my response, right? So I am going to decide. I am going to decide. Uh, when i pass the request from here to here if it is if it is if it is present within the wsdl if my request is part of wsdl then it will work on soap and if my request or oh, sorry if, if my request if my request is concerned with wadl or urls as i said these both terms we are going to use if my request is concerned with wadl then it will work with rest so what i can say wsdl is going to work with soap and wadl is going to work with rest okay so this is the definition and the uh that so the definition will be so this is the complete thing is present within this full form only web services description language the language the complete document it is nothing but a document which will contain the complete description of any web service understood or not web services what web services clear document means which will which will going to contain all the things related to a web service so the same thing for this but this time it is not a web service only it is a complete application which is api so the soap envelope is wsdl no soap envelope is something soap envelope is envelope is something which will tell me what is the part of that particular web service what is the difference between both webs see envelope is something which is concerned with single request okay one thing but wsdl is a complete document which will contain all the services provided by that particular web service as this is not the case this will surely not be the case only single service provided by a web service right many services are there collection of envelopes right okay so wsdl is my document in the format of xml okay so xml again means what a complete a complete document so this is actually the main thing within these four five words i am actually explaining everything wsdl is a document it's within the extension of dot xml it's okay and it's a document which will contain all the services don't forget this thing so services provided by web service okay let me place it's web service description language all the services let me write here all services highlight this word then provided by single web service so it is my one document which is wsd the same is applicable to wadl web application description language it's it's, uh, it's visitor file and it's wadl file okay so this is all about wsdl and wadl now let's come to the last topic related to the uh, so each provider like make matter right right Okay, it's a single document in which all the services will be present. 
it's a ur is the last topic related to the jargons of your web service is url url is my uniform resource locator so this is the definition only <laughs> so the thing is actually the thing which i did pass on to the server is url okay which will contain so single url its urls will be present urls are there in a in a web or w let's just w d what does it means many urls are there within a w d l so visitor is xml extension no this is not only the extension but i'll say it's the document which will tell you how many services will be provided by that one one web service okay let me complete this topic then i'll come to your question again second okay so urls many urls are there within a wadl document and what is the meaning of many urls many urls means many services or i'll say many services are there within a wadl document so many services again means what a very a very a very important thing i'm going to say right now one url means one service of web service of one see if i am working on one url it means one service that uh, which is provided by that web service so if i am saying many urls means second url how many urls will be there many urls can be present many urls means what many services can be present within a wadl within a web service so this is very very important thing for next i think till the end of our course we are going to concern with this thing because we will we will work on many urls just to make just to uh, i'll show you how wsdl works how it looks and then we we'll work on url only because wsdl is concerned with soap okay we are here for rest test rest with json api testing okay can url be in the right there are many urls the same thing i'm saying many urls are there within a wadl okay and same thing for this also many urls are there within a wsdl but if i'm working on soap then only i'll get this wsdl okay so this is all about the wsdl and wadl and the complete description as i said you'll understand more when we we'll move on to our application okay so let me uh, go to the next topic which is installing some of the softwares so i'll firstly give you the list of all the softwares which you do need to work more on your web service firstly i do need the server so server is what server is what server is something which is over here the host the host from where i'll get back the response right this is very very important thing server is the third party location with from where i'll get back the response so in case of my project i am going to use with apache and the server named as uh, firstly I'm, i'll show you with xamp then and apache tomcat okay so where this xamp and apache tomcat will be placed these will be placed over here the server as xamp and the apache token okay so server is there so let's see which server how it works see my application on which 
I'm going to work is nothing but a retail application. These two are the applications, separate applications. Okay. So retail and retail address. These are the two different applications. First retail folder is for the retail and the retail address. These are the two applications on the web services which I'll show you now. So retail is my application which is concerned with soap and soap and retail app rest is concerned with my rest. Okay, so XAMPP just a minute. So here rest and the uh, sorry, it's server as XAMPP and the Apache Tomcat. So these are the server which are the third party location. I hope it, it is clear which I am going to use. So XAMPP is something which is one of the server available to us which I can use as my third party location which will not be in my PC but it will act as my local host. Okay, Some of you may know about it but uh, so my retail application which I am going to use on my SOAP on my SOAP as my protocol is this retail which I will deploy which I will deploy on XAMPP and the retail app rest the rest application which i'm going to deploy is based on apache tomcat because these are supported by by these servers my retail application for my soap it is xamp and for my rest it is apache tomcat is it clear the concept of xamp and the apache tomcat these are the servers so xamp is what xamp let's see what does it mean XAMPP is access for cross platform access. Apache A is the Apache which is present within XAMPP. So actually we will work on the Apache both times but the thing is here many more things are there. See MySQL M is for MySQL, P is for Perl and uh, so these are not concerned. We are, we are just going to concern with these two. Apache and MySQL. So what is the purpose of MySQL? I'll tell you. Okay, we are uh, not here right now. We are on the server part. So Apache is the server on which I'm going to use my which which application? It's retail. Retail which is based on SOAP. Understood? So for Apache Tomcat going to use this is as my server my retail app with based on rest comfortable with these terms so both app and which are different products but both are right both are different see apache is only the server which is present within zap only but the thing is, it's, it, it comes with a package, a complete collection of 3-4 uh, softwares with a policy. These are the programming language with which we are not concerned. Okay, it comes with database, but Apache don't come with, Apache Tomcat uh, don't come with database. As uh, Sandeep, I think, says, these both are servers, both are servers, but different, different servers. Okay, but the working is only this, like it is going to work on the third party location. Third party means as the outer location. Oops, I think I did remove that. Uh, it's a browser, server, so Abzap and Apache will be placed over here from where I'll get the response. Understood? So this is only the thing about the ZAMP, about the ZAMP and the, as well as the Tomcat. So you do need these both server. Why you do need? I hope not it's clear because these are the server third party location where I am going to deploy my complete retail application. Okay. How retail application works, how it looks, we'll discuss in, in a very, very detail. Okay. But right now I'm just showing you, just uh, giving you the all the terms all the things which we do need okay so the next thing is installing let's see how these can be installed so for XAMPP and Tomcat you do need JDK it's 
Java Development Kit and uh, I'll, I'll refer 1.7 and 1.6 or the lower version of 1.7 so the best is the 1.6 install 1.6 JDK version and because 1.8 is not supported by your SOAP UI tool then it will create some issues okay so 1.6 is the version which you will install and the XAMPP, I'll, I'll share all the softwares or I'll share the name of the software if you are if you are able to if you're able to install directly you can install or I'll share both the softwares Apache Tomcat, JDK and the XAMPP, see it's one, uh, 8, 1 1.8 but I'll, sh I'll share 1.8 if you need. okay if you are not able to uh, download these servers then I'll share and one more thing Apache Tomcat and XAMPP, these are the specific version XAMPP specially XAMPP, the new version of XAMPP is not supported by a uh, via retail application. So install this version only. I'll share these uh, three softwares. And this is the SOAP UI I think you all have downloaded it. Okay. So this is about the software. And if any one of you will it work on iOS? Uh, I think yes, or I'll tell you after the class, after a concerning crash issue. Okay. So this is about the software and if any one of you face any problem while installing then I'll help you. Okay, try to install all of the servers on your own and as I said I'll share the software. Okay, so the next topic for today is installing JDK Apache Tomcat and one more thing. When you will install Tomcat or the ZAP, do close all of the applications, especially Skype. Skype will create some issues with your application with your servers a zamp and talk so close all other applications so now the next thing is database setup so now let's see how database setup means so first let's see what is database then i'll show you how to set up the database for your application so database is what what do you think it's the back end work where we are going to read and write the data. So read and write means what? Write means to update to if I want to add something. Read means if I want to retrieve something. Right. So read and write is going to be done only within the database. And the database which I am going to use is MySQL. You can use any database but thing is the application on which I am going to work as my retail application is directly concerned and it is actually deployed on the MySQL database and MySQL database you don't need to install it separately if you are working on SOAP. Why? What, what I said? You don't need to install MySQL separately if you are working with SOAP. Why? Because SOAP is going to SOAP retail right it's a retail application retail application for so i am going to deploy it on zap right i am going to deploy my soap application on zap and zap is nothing but apache plus mysql so database is present already within your server Okay, and if I say I'm working on retail app with rest, then what? It's Tomcat only. Do I have the database? No, I don't have. So two options you do have. You can install the MySQL separately. Two softwares, it means two softwares you do need for your rest. It's Tomcat plus mysql and if you are working with soap you can directly work with zap no need to install then why not using zap for both okay see zap is something this is not decided by me this is something which is which means zap can deploy only soap based application and tomcat apache can deploy rest based application only okay so as i said these are the third party location which are which is not present which is not uh, which is which will not be in my hands to decide okay so one more confusion which people generally get over here 
if i'm working with xamp okay i don't need to install i don't need to uh, work with mysql i don't need to install it separately but if i'm working with rest only see the words i'm saying if i'm working with rest only then you do need both of these and if you are working with both like i'll i'll show you how to work with both then surely you don't need this mysql separately if you are working with both the application you just need xamp as well as document understood so why i'm saying if if i am saying i hope you are getting it then it's good so if i am working with rest if i am working with rest okay i do need i do need server if i am working with soap i do need server as apache but if i am working with both i don't need it separately i can work directly on to this how i'll show you how to turn on see there are many options one more thing when you will install xamp on top that you will get the direct application for your xamp with which you can start your server it will look like this it will take some time and as i said don't forget to close all other application which are already working on your uh, running on your pc okay so i is kind of spear so let's firstly will tom get already installed just a minute let me close skype first okay this so what you were saying uh will tom get already installed in linux server or need to install separately in case php mysql are already installed okay uh 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 my okay you will look into uh it's you want okay we'll discuss about this peter just wait for some time okay okay just wait where is my zap we'll just open the zap control window you can also open it after install after installation okay here so can you see when i install when i install zap and tomcat and zap only means okay zap only means till this and top get here it is separate okay so if you want to start any one of these five you can start just select this and it will be started and as i said close all other applications so if you want to check say if i start it just click on to this it uh, it will uh, all it port will be assigned process ids will be assigned okay so how i can check if my uh, if my zap or my tomcat mysql is running fine or not right both are different rajiv apache and no apache and tomcat is something else apache tomcat is a server is a complete one name single name zap is something else okay zap is one of my server apache tomcat is my another server but the functionality is only one thing the both are servers that's it okay so i was saying you if you want to start any one of the any one of the functionality you will just start and now how can i check if my if my local host as my zap is installed fine or if it is turned on not just go to the uh any browser but in zap application both are listed right both are listed but you need to install it separately okay you need to install both zap and apache separate because you want to deploy your application okay so what i did if i want to check my zap is running fine or not or if you have any doubt you can ask me after class just wait raj okay so what i'm saying if i want to check if my local host my zap it's about zap only not talking about apache separately it's complete zap you just need to open the browser and write local host in your address bar and you will see the screen like this it means your local host as your zap is is completely fine okay and when i stop see i did stop it and 
see if I now right look at this, what I'm getting, it's uh, the site can't be reached. It means my localhost is not turned on. So this is about the Apache. It's within XAMPP. Now if you want to see Tomcat server is running fine or not. How I can check? Just start it from here. It will take few seconds. And in the same way, process ID and the ports will be assigned to Tomcat also. Okay, I think there is, will not start without configuring, you need to uninstall, disable, reconfigure, the, okay, I think some of the application is blocking my, okay, just a minute, let me check, these are the problems which are very common while you are working, problem detected, okay, my oracle, okay, okay, one of my application is uh, working on the backend. I need to close that application, but before this, I need to save everything. So I'll I'll do it after the class. Okay. So if if you will start it, and if you get the if you get the uh, it's it's like this, and if you get the uh, button name that stop over here, it means surely my Tomcat is running fine. And if you want to check, just go to the next tab write localhost for your zap and localhost 8080 is for your apache top that understood you will just write localhost 8080 and then enter you will get a new window related to your apache tomcat and here i am what i'll get i'll surely get not found site can't be reached yes it is showing me uh, okay, it is showing me some of the. Okay, we'll work. I'll work on to this because I'm actually currently working on a record also. So forget this thing. So what do you do need? You just need to write localhost 8080 over here. Then you will see a complete different window for your Apache Tomcat. So this is just to check if you are, if your server is running fine or not. So what is the next topic for today, which is left now? Is this clear? how to check your server is running fine or not and the next thing is about database how to check if your database is started from here or not how you can check open the command prompt and here you will write the path of your mysql don't forget it's what will be the path where is your ZAMP is present because MySQL is coming from the ZAMP only, right? It's MySQL bin till this path. So from where, how I can decide this path you do need? Where your MySQL as a complete application is present, reach at that, at that path, at that location, copy the path, CD, here. So now I am within the bin folder of MySQL. Understood? C MySQL, ZAMP MySQL bin. So next thing is what? MySQL hyphen u root. You will just you will just log in with this. But I did set a password, and it is showing me can't connect to MySQL. Why? Because MySQL is not started from here. I'll tell you how to set the password. Okay just wait for some time so now it is working this is just to check if your okay if your database if your server is connected or not and here i am getting a message like this what does it mean it means my it means my database i am connected with my database understood so this is all about how to check to how to configure if it is working fine or not okay so the next topic for today is it's installing oh, it's installing the retail application okay we'll cover this topic now how to install as i said both but both apache tomcat listed separately are they different yes both are different apache and tomcat are different okay what you said i didn't get you apache and tomcat both are listed separately no both are not okay from here you are saying 
See, Tomcat is not only Tomcat is not a single name. Tomcat is a product by your Apache Apache server only. So that's why I used Apache Tomcat. Okay, so this is the first four part are coming from Zam, and Tomcat is actually the product by Apache, and Zam is also a product by Apache. Okay, so that's why. But you need to install both separately. Okay, because a retail application for REST will be deployed on Tomcat and the retail application for SOAP will be deployed on ZAP. See here I am not saying Apache, it's ZAP. Okay, so the next thing is how to install the application. Is this the, okay, I will check see if as I said, if you are working with ZAP, I'll share the soft. I'll share the complete server because the new version of ZAMP is not supported. Okay, so I'll share. I'll share ZAMP with all of you. Okay. So the next topic is about the deploy the complete application, which is over here. Here. So the first retail folder is for SOAP, and this folder is for your this uh, retail app rest is for your rest. Right. So firstly, I'll show you. It's just copy this folder and paste this folder. Come to C as this is about SOAP. Okay. C ZAP HD Docs here. Here you will copy. It's just to paste this folder. Can you see it is already there? Okay. So this is the complete folder. Many things are there. We'll discuss about about this after after some uh, two to three days when we'll work on our application. So just copy this folder over here. And what about the second folder? About the retail app rest. Copy this folder from here. And where to paste it? Where your Apache top cat is present at C program file, it will be there. Okay, so this is the part web apps. Under the web apps folder, you will paste this folder. So it is already there. Right. So I'll say where I don't need to where I don't need to deploy the applications. Here I will write. This is the location, this is the path for your uh, REST with REST with Tomcat. Lots of stuff, would you send instructions to install, right? Surely I will send, even I will share a separate, a separate recording for this, how to install. How to install both the application, how to install ZAM, how to install Tomcat, how to install a MySQL, and how to deploy the complete application. Okay, so don't worry about this. And even then, if you get any, even then, if you get any of the any problem, I'll I'll help you. See ZAM uh, HD Docs, and this is the path for your SOAP. I hope now it's it will help you. I'll share the complete document also which I did make daily. Okay, I'll share the complete document where I did write everything. Okay, if I want to if, if it is soap with XML, then this part, and if it is rest with Tomcat, then this part. Fine. So this is all about the uh, how to deploy, but now how to check if my application is running fine or not. What do you think? Can I check? Can I check if my soap based retail application is uh, deployed fine or not? Okay, I'll tell you. I can't check for REST, but I can check for soap. How I can say? For REST, REST is what? REST is the API testing, right? So API don't have GUI. API don't have its user interface. But what about soap? Just a minute, let me tell you if it's localhost what I'm getting. I'm getting the screen like this. It means my ZAMP is running fine. But what about the retail? See, after after copy the when you copy the uh, copy this folder, only then what you will do here within the same path, just change some data. 
just change the URL or two three words you don't need two words which you don't need to change. Is this fine? I just I just change. I just write retain for zap and the slash. If I'm getting the screen like this, it means my retail application for soap is deployed correctly, is deployed fine. It is running fine. Okay. So any one of you, can you please tell me if I want to work with if I want to work with soap, then what thing what thing I don't need? Do I need this WSDL? Right. So this WSDL will come from this screen only, from this uh, user interface only. Can you see here? View the WSDL for the service. I'll just copy this path and over here. What is this? Localhost as my server, retail, retail.php is the site. After that, WSDL of that site. Is it fine? So let's see what is present. So this is the complete WSDL document. Complete all the services, very huge document. Right? A com complete detail of all the services are there. Okay, so if I want to if I want to test my SOAP based web service, then I just need this WSDL. Okay, let's see. I'll show you one more thing. Uh, see here, building the SOAP project. This is the last topic for today. Building the SOAP project. I'll show you how to build the SOAP project within your SOAP UI. Okay, so the only thing which you do need is this URL. It's a complete, see this WSDL even contains the, even contains many things. So each and every part has its own meaning. I'll discuss about each and every part. Uh, I think tomorrow we'll cover that topic. It's, yes, here. These both have the topics which will help you to learn what is the meaning of each and every part of a URL? I hope let's uh, it's HTTP is a messaging protocol, hypertext type protocol. Okay, and localhost is the server, and the rest part we'll discuss tomorrow. Okay, so if I am getting WSDL over here, then means it means it's a it's visual file. Okay, I'll just copy this visual document a URL and see the so. When you will install it on your PC, then you will get the screen like this. You may not get these uh, these projects which I did make. Okay. So about the about the screen, about the panels, I'll discuss after some time. But today I'll just show you how to build the SOAP project. When I select, I want to make, I want to go for a SOAP based project. I get two options: the name and the complete visual or URL which I do need. Okay, you can also change it one more time. I'll show you. If I just copy the, uh, if I just write the WSDL, a complete URL, I'll get the name, project name directly, which is coming from here, part of a URL. You can also change it. I'll say so one. Okay, and, and these are the three tabs. First, you will just check create the simple request. What is the meaning of this? You will understand. Just wait for some time, but I don't want to create anything else. Just select it. This is by default. It will be selected. And then say OK. It will show me the project over here. So one. And if you open many things, you can say these are the requests for what I did. Just check that tab. OK. So these. this is the way. This is the way to build a SOAP, a SOAP based project. Are these services right? These all are the services. So this is the only single WSDL document I just copy, and here I am getting all the services provided by that particular web service. Okay, now how to work on to this? We'll discuss this after two to three days. This is just to show how to build a SOAP based project. Okay.